hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today i am filming slash voiceovering um my drawing book chat thing <laughs> honestly i have no idea what to call this series because this will be a series um it'll be like a once a month thing and it's just me drawing fan art chatting about things and books and all that good stuff that we all know and love so i am very excited this has been a video i've wanted to film for a very long time and ever since i decided to make a booktube channel i knew i was going to be doing this so i hope you guys enjoy and yeah so let's go get into the subjects the first subject being an introduction to my drawing. Um, so I have been drawing for as long as I can remember, and that's a pretty long time. <laughs> and um, but I've done more of the manga esque style since like middle school. I am completely self taught. I have tons of drawing books and. I've watched a lot of tutorials and I've used the ye old deviant art <laughs> back in the day to learn things. And uh yeah, I just kind of learned on my own. <laughs> and when it comes to digital drawing, I recently got back into it about a couple years ago when I bought myself a fancy drawing tablet and before, I had one of those tablets that were just like that plastic one where you had to draw on it but look up at a screen and that drove me absolutely bananas. So I obviously don't have that this time. I have one of the cool ones that have a screen right on it, which is so nice. <laughs> and yeah, I really love to di digitally illustrate. I love just being able to have clean lines even though this does not look very clean right now <laughs> and just have that nice finished look. So I use a Gaumon 1560 DP. I think that's what it is. I will link everything I use down below so you can check it out yourself if you are curious. But yeah, I've always been an, an artiste, a drawing person. I love doing fan art. And I have my own characters that I draw as well, so you might see some of that. But I just, it's just one of my many passions right next to reading. So, of course I had to do some bookish fan art while talking about books. And today's subject is Alex Stern from Ninth House. And oh, I'm so excited because I love Alex. And I love Ninth House. And I was like, this is like the perfect one to start with. It's one, it's a book everybody knows. Two, it's a good book. So, and it's one I really like. And three, it'll be an easy drawing. So I was just going to do a portrait. <laughs> In the future, I'll probably do crazier things. But I wanted to see how this went. And see what y'all thought. If you had any tips or tricks or critiques or whatever. About the setup and the visuals, the sound, yada yada, or even if you had suggestions for other characters or fan art to do, because I am always up for suggestions, <laughs> um, because I only have like a handful of books I've read. Feels like a handful of books compared to a lot of people, but we're rolling with it anyway. Um, so yeah, I chose Alex Stern first, because I like her. And I like Ninth House, and it's, it's a good time. So if you haven't read Ninth House and you don't know what it is, well, welcome. <laughs> Ninth House is extremely good. It's about a girl named Alex Stern who is accepted into Yale because she can see ghosts. And because she can see ghosts, she is part of a secret society that protects and watches over the other houses as they perform rituals. And since she can see ghosts, that's a pretty weird and rare thing. And therefore she's accepted. There's also a murder and a mystery all in the middle of it. And it's just so well done. <laughs> Lee Bardugo is such a talented writer. 
this and Six of Crows are my favorites by her. She's just, oh, so good. <laughs> I actually read this back in January and I already need a reread to be completely honest. <laughs> so it's a problem, but a good problem because I love it. It's so good. So if you're in the mood for something a little darker and a little more mature in tone, or even, you know, something with a supernatural twist. This is the book for you because it's so good. And as I watch myself speed draw, um, I'm like, man, I take forever with the line heart. The, in total, without the editing and speeding up, this took me about an hour and a half to do. Um, so I'm by no means the fastest and I'm also no means the slowest could have went slower but <laughs> I was tired and I wanted to finish <laughs> anyway so the next topic are what I'm currently reading so I am still making my way through words of radiance I've actually gotten up to page 400 which is huge because this page this book is a thousand plus pages so only 600 or so more to go <laughs> And things are starting to get interesting and heating up and getting real interesting and good. And I'm like, I still have 600 more pages. What else is going to happen in this book? So I don't know, man, but it's so good. And it's been taking all of my time and attention. Like, it's a problem. So, but I absolutely love it. It's just so, so good. If you haven't read Way of Kings, um, please do because it's really, really good. And this will be what I'm known for at my funeral, that I talked about Way of Kings all the time. <laughs> um, yeah, because I just keep telling literally everyone about it. I don't shut up about it. It's a problem. But it's well worth it. So, if you're in the mood for something thick with two C's and full of good content, then I highly recommend it because it's just so, so good. Um... I'm also reading A Gathering of Shadows, which is the sequel to A Darker Shade of Magic. I'm also really enjoying that one. And it's a little bit of a slow beginning. Like some of it was really intense, but it's kind of just like reestablishing where the characters are and kind of setting up the stage, so to speak, for the rest of the novel. So it's taking me a little bit to get through the like the first hundred pages or so. <laughs> Um, because one, I've been so invested in Words of Radiance, and two, it's just a little slow going, and I have a really hard time when books are slow, apparently. I think most people do, but I find that I just, like, put it off instead of, like, power through it, which I don't know if anybody else does that, but I do. <laughs> but I'm really loving those books. I'm really excited for the reading rush to start. I just... I'm nervous that I won't complete my goals. <laughs> I know it's not a big deal, it's just a readathon, but last year I won and I was very proud of myself and I was like, I can do it again, no problem.
anyway, so now that I've rambled on for a while, with probably no sustenance, I'm at the end of my topics. Um, so yeah, and as you can see, my drawing is nearing its end. I've got a few more minutes left of this, and you know, we'll be all set. So I'm going to shut up, let you all finish the video, and come back. And there you have it, guys. There is my finished picture portrait of Alex Stern from Ninth House. If you have any comments or critiques or concerns with audio visual, please let me know. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, leave a comment down below for other fan art you'd like to see or bookish topics or tropes that you would like to talk about in our next video. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all very, very soon in the next video. Bye-bye!